Hello everybody, Jim Powers here from Maryville Saints.com and Saints Vision and our coaching show is on the road this week as we are in Indianapolis getting ready to take on UND tonight and joining us is women's basketball coach Chris Ellison. First Chris, let's talk about the break and a couple nice victories out in California over a couple very, very good opponents. Uh, the girls played very well when they had to. We were trailing uh, Holy Names by 15 uh, late in the second half, four minutes to go in the third quarter. And uh, fortunately, Coach Vogel uh, decided to uh, go with the press, and that was the difference in the game. And really had some breakout games by some young kids. Kayla Roselle had a great game for us, and uh, you know Stephanie Sherwood did a good job. So uh, our young kids uh, really responded. Talk about you know Kayla Roselle. You know missed the first part of the season, and now she's able to start to lock some playing time. And she's been a very good bright spot for you guys over the Christmas break. Well, uh, my son knows more about bas my basketball team than me, and he's like, why don't you play Kayla more because she can really shoot it. So uh, that, uh, when he said that, that little uh, man came on the back of my head, decided to go with her, and it's a good thing we did because uh, I think she hit like five threes against uh, Holy Names and uh, really brought us back. But everybody's playing pretty well right now. Uh, Alex Hillier came back uh, the next day against Sonoma State, had a double, another double-double. Yeah. Played very well. Allie Ringering does what she does. You know, Maya and Madeline off the bench did a good job. You know, really it's been a, a, a total team effort at this point. Ellen's done a great job at the point. So. Yeah, and I was just going to ask you that. Ellen Foster now seeing a little bit more playing time at the point guard position just because of some personnel shuffling and some of the groupings that you've been putting out on the floor. She is, and uh, she gives us a little bit of height at that position, a little bit of athleticism. And I can't say enough about Alex Wolf. you know, bringing a double-double almost every game. And, so, uh, again, we're, we're playing about 9, 10 deep, and, um, you know, we'll take our chances. We're really young. We're not, you know, with Alex Hillier, whether she's in the lineup or not, we're, yeah. we're, you know, with her out of lineup, we're not very tall. So uh, it's going to have to be a, a full-court effort by everybody. Talk a little bit about tonight's opponent, UND, and a, a year that is very not typical for them. They come in 2-10, and 0-2 oh in the conference, and, but they still got one of the best players in the conference in, in, Gorm, in uh, Gorman. Well, yeah, she Princess is uh, is probably the the best all round guard talent wise I think in the league. I don't think there's any doubt about that. The Anderson girl is uh, very talented. Mm -hmm. She can shoot it, and uh, you know I think they'll be hungry. They'll be ready to play. You know it's a home opener for them for January, and um, you know they're tough to beat in in, in the old uh, in the old pit. So. We'll see that and obviously a good crowd for us tonight because we've got some players from the Indiana area that are, you know, going to have their parents and some friends make the trip over tonight and on Saturday to Rensselaer. Well, I hope for both places because <laughs> uh, Rensselaer is uh, usually a very hostile crowd yeah. and, they're, and they're right on top of you at St. Joe. But um, uh, last year we did have a nice showing by the uh, Miller contingent. Uh, Ellen and uh, Stephanie, there's a Hoosier homecoming for them. So... So we'll see. Hopefully they'll be out in force. Outstanding stuff, Chris. Good luck tonight. We'll talk to you tomorrow as we head up to St. Joe's. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Chris Ellis joins us here. We'll talk to Coach tomorrow when we get up to Rensselaer to preview Saturday night's game. We'll have all the action for you on State's Vision. Now remember, it's a different start time tonight in the Central Time Zone. We'll start at 425 as the game will tip off at 430 St. Louis time, 530 here in Indianapolis. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, Go Saints!